Time now for the Morning Rush new body cam video shows the moments that state police officers in Santa Fe tased a man in his home while trying to arrest him. Officers say that they tried to pull Russell Sandlin over for a broken headlight, but they say that he kept driving. Officers then forced their way into his apartment, tasing him and taking him into custody. He's now facing numerous charges, including DWI, but his case has since been dismissed. Bernalillo County employees will not be required to get their COVID vaccinations, at least not now. For the county says its current protocols are working and there's no reason to require the vaccinations at risk of losing experienced employees. However, the county manager is encouraging vaccinations with the incentive of additional vacation time. And Albuquerque City, Albuquerque City Councilors rather, are scheduled to vote today on an ordinance that would bring back speed cameras to the city. Backers say the cameras would lead to more consistent and unbiased traffic law enforcement. Violations would come with a $100 fine. City councilors are also expected to vote on whether or not to do away with bus fares in Albuquerque. If approved, the program would begin by October 1st. Fares would still be charged for special events. Erica. Here's a look at the school day forecast. Temps are in the mid 60s, which is mild, but the kiddos may want a light sweater. And by this afternoon, we'll make up to, uh, we'll be seeing 85 degrees. A warm afternoon with sunshine and a light breeze. An historical coalition is now working to preserve a portion of New Mexico's Wild West. The Billy the Kid Historical Coalition says that it's found the, found the grave site of Jose Chavez y Chavez. He was a friend of Billy the Kid. While well, the Historical Coalition says it's going to be placing a headstone at his resting site on October 2nd. A nationwide nonprofit is helping New Mexicans take a load off by offering free laundry services. The Laundry Project is a nationwide nonprofit that has been running for 13 years. The Laundry Project helped pay for 250 loads of laundry at the wash tub laundromat off 12th and Central over the weekend. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. We are going to be warm this afternoon, so maybe avoid those strenuous outdoor activities from about 3 to 5 p.m. The entire collection of an Albuquerque neighborhood's little library is now in the hands of a thief. Our tipster says that the library was used daily with people in the community, taking and donating books to help support literacy. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Senate Democrats continue to push to provide a path to citizenship for dreamers living in the U.S. This after the Senate parliamentarian decided it could not be included in the proposed $3.5 trillion spending bill. The parliamentarian says it would be unfair to include a path toward citizenship for DACA recipients in a bill that is exempt from being filibustered. 28 more U.S. citizens and seven lawful permanent residents have been evacuated from Afghanistan. A Qatar Airways charter flight departed from Kabul on Friday. That's with the citizens on board. It's not clear as to how many Americans still remain in Afghanistan. Erica. All right, let's get a look at that morning drive. Here's a look at the maps. No accidents or slowdowns to tell you about right now. And here's a look at Tracker going south on I-25 near Lead and Coal. Things are moving right along in that, in that spot. Hollywood may soon have another musty destination. This is an animated look at what's being called the Star on Sunset, the $500,000, 500,000 square foot, rather, $500 million building would be the largest office complex in the heart of Hollywood. Pretty futuristic. Mm -hmm. Welcome back on this day in 1960. A state policeman was injured by a cloud to ground lightning strike. Uh, luckily, he did survive, but always good idea when a thunder roars, go indoors. Time now for the five facts. At number five, the Billy the Kid Historical Coalition says it's found the gravesite of Jose Chavez y Chavez. He was a friend of Billy the Kid. Chavez was part of the Lincoln County Regulators in the Lincoln County War and was later sentenced to death for the murder, which was then commuted to life in prison. Chavez eventually saved the life of a prison guard during a riot and was pardoned in 1909 by the governor. Chavez lived out the remainder of his life in Milagro, New Mexico, where he died in 1923. The Historical Coalition says it's now going to be placing a headstone at the site on October 2nd. Number four now, Albuquerque City Councilors are scheduled to vote today on an ordinance that would bring back speed cameras to the city. Backers say the cameras would lead to more consistent and unbiased traffic law enforcement. Violations would come with a $100 fine. We'll let you know if it does pass. And at number three, it's going to be warm across southern New Mexico with low to upper 90s back in record territory. The northern half of the state, a little bit cooler, mid 80s and even 70s up towards the four corners. Number two, now Bernalillo County employees will not be required to get their COVID-19 vaccination, at least not yet. The county says its current protocols are working and there's no reason to require the vaccinations at risk of losing experienced employees. Protocols do include employees wearing masks, being on staggered work schedules and continuing virtual meetings. However, the county manager is encouraging vaccinations with the incentive of additional vaccine time. 
County officials say if the situation were to become worse, though, the county manager can mandate those vaccines. And a number one new body cam video shows the moments the state police officers in Santa Fe tased a man in his home while trying to arrest him. Officers say that they tried to pull Russell Sandlin over for a broken headlight, say that he kept driving, eventually going to his apartment. Now, eventually, officers eventually forced their way in and tasing Sandlin and taking him into custody. The criminal complaint says the alcohol was detected on a breathalyzer, but did not say what his BAC level was. The uh, Sandlin was then charged with battery upon a peace officer resisting arrest and DWI. But that case has since been dismissed. Well, the DA's office did not get back to us as to why they dismissed the case.